Welcome to the Cube's coverage of KubeCon EU 2024, live from Paris, France. Join hosts Savannah Peterson, Dustin Kirkland, and Rob Strache as they interview some of the brightest minds in cloud native computing. Coverage of KubeCon Cloud Native Con is brought to you by Red Hat, CNCF, and its ecosystem partners. The Cube's coverage of KubeCon EU 2024 begins right now. Hello and welcome back to Paris, where we're at KubeCon, Cloud Native Con, EU. Glad to have you hanging in there for this afternoon. We're you know, wall to wall coverage. And right now, we got some of the CNCF's top people here to really talk about the community and how it's really actually expanding, growing, and bringing new people into that tent. So I'm really happy to have Christoph, who's leading up training, cloud native training and certification. And Chris, who's the CTO of the CNCF as well, along with Dustin, my you know, compadre for this week, is really helping us dig into this stuff. So let's, let's kick this off. You, you guys really, it, it's such an impressive conference, over 12,000 people here, so many new people here as well. I mean, I think it's something like a 50-50 split. 51%. Yeah, 51%, which wow. is, incredible because I think that just keeps showing how much interest and I think especially the cloud native side of things. I, I, I said it, I said Kubernetes, maybe I was a little pedantic about yep. it and said it was solved, yep. but it's, it's matured. Yep. I mean, 10 years old, coming up this year. How are things changing from a, a certification perspective? Because I think there's still people who are looking to go beyond just Kubernetes, but need the basics, but then need to go on. How, how are things really changing? I, I hear there's new partnerships being lined up and things of that nature. Yeah, you know, definitely. So let's, let's kind of break this question <laughs> into two parts. So uh, in terms of, um, you know, what are people kind of looking for and what we're doing, you know, obviously we're at 184 projects now. We're a lot more than Kubernetes. Kubernetes for sure is a mature technology that almost like every website device thing in the world is somehow using behind the scenes, right? And we've done, we've trained I think over 200, 300,000 people at least have gone through our you know, certifications oh, on that. Cow. But since we've grown so much, we now have a lot more technology you know, outside of Kubernetes. We have uh, open telemetry, you need stuff to observe things, you have, need to secure things, you know, we have like Falco. So we're basically investing a lot in helping uh, build training and certification for those communities. It's kind of, you could kind of think of it as like day one versus day two type thing. Day one, get everyone up trained and certified in Kubernetes, day two, they had to figure out how to observe things and you know, how to secure things and so on. That's kind of where the investment is. And a lot of stuff we've been doing ourselves, which has been great, but you know, we are an open source organization. We like to work with partners and companies and collaborate. And so we've basically evolved and launched essentially a new uh, endorsed content and partnership program for training that basically is working with folks that provide courses, training, and you know, we're proud to basically work with uh, Udemy, one of the largest uh, training providers out there, and they're kind of our first you know, pilot in this uh, you know, program. We plan to kind of work with others uh, you know, down, uh, down the line on this. Yeah, and um, this um, training investment is something that helps us to put the spotlight on some of our community members too, because we want to recognize the people from our community who are really involved and in, uh, in both training and the community aspects. So we have some criteria at the CNCF where we will just put the label on those persons. So we need to be KTP, you need to be part of the KTP program, which is the Kubernetes training partner or an ambassador or a maintainer if you want to be eligible to be endorsed. So that's really a way for us to show some gratitude also to those persons who are really involved in our community. There's a lot of stuff out there, if you especially like go on YouTube and you know, random Skype, but you know, being able to highlight the work that is actually being done by our community, our ambassadors and maintainers, that's generally, the stuff they produce, they generally know what they're talking about. Yeah, you're and talking I, about content. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I mean, this is community contributed content. Yep. Yeah, it's, yep. it's really impressive. It's a, quite a library of, yep. of educational material out yep. there now. Yeah, I, I think that to me was a, a big piece that I was glad you guys were coming on because to me and to the people sitting at home, having worked at Amazon and built a service over there, you were at Google, I mean, we, we understand how difficult it can be and to get up and going, but then once you're up and going, you're not 
doing Kubernetes to do Kubernetes, yep. you're building an application on top yep. of it. And I think that with <laughs> you know, the, yep. the elephant in the room, which is AI and yep. how those workloads are really being yep. put onto Kubernetes and yep. with all the new projects that are coming in, yep. that seems like it, there's got to be a ton of interest in that as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we have some new AI training. We have, we have some AI projects in CNCF, so we have like new Kubeflow training that we've produced. Um, we're debating potentially of like, you know, it, it's, a, it's a pretty good idea of what we know like a cloud native engineer is. You got to know certain skills. Sure. But what, what does it mean to be a certified cloud native AI engineer? What, yeah. what is that? So we're, we're debating whether we may go into that territory, but we're, 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 we're not there yet. Right now we're kind of just focusing on catching up on the backlog of all these kind of huge projects that we have in CNCF that we just haven't served well in terms of producing training and certification for them. If you kind of look at our top five projects in terms of contribution and community size, Obviously Kubernetes, right? Yeah. Then you have Open Telemetry. Yep. Then you have basically Backstage, Argo, uh, and you know it's pretty much like these are all massive, like top 100 in the world open source projects, and we just haven't had time until maybe I hired some people to help me <laughs> out in the organization to kind of keep things, uh, you know, moving. But we have now we have Hotel Certs coming, Argo, yeah. bunch of training on all this stuff. Argo is live for a few days now, so anybody can take an Argo certification which is a huge step because, like you said, people will have deployed Kubernetes, but you need to deploy your application on top of that. And we all know that today, GitOps and all the movement around that is something that almost everybody embraced. Yeah. So, Argo is perfect for that, but we also launched an open GitOps certification. If you just want to know the basics, not tied to any product, take this one. Mm. We also launched a Cilium certification. Networking is something which is obviously present everywhere, but you will discover that Cilium is way more than that, thanks to eBPF, that yeah. we put a lot of emphasis in Chicago, the last KubeCon. So yeah. we just launched that. It's always also available for anyone. And um, finally, we had um, a certification on security. Security is a, Good. Yeah. a broad yeah. topic. Yes. And um, you know that. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, tell um, us more. <laughs> oh yeah. And we wanted to have something which could be an entry level certification on security. Yeah. Obviously, we, are, we had for a long time CKS, which is our, let's say, yeah. Advanced. Advanced security certification. But we wanted to have something which will be a way for people to embrace that, to start to feel what it is. And so we just launched KCSA. Yeah. We're really proud of that, really happy with that. And so all those new four certifications are now available to anyone, and we are uh, quite excited yeah, about that. Yeah, and there's like two things, like, you know, if you kind of, <laughs> You look at like the, the traditional CKS, it has the worst pass rate of all of our, sort of, I think it's like 20 something percent. Like, wow. people fail all, all the time. It's too hard, yeah. right? And so, if we're going to really truly grow our community, I think we need to provide a little bit more welcoming like stepping stones. So that's why, I mean, a lot of cloud providers do this. They have their associate yes. level sure. kind of certs, and so that, or foundational, or whatever they call it. That's kind of what we're kind of trying to do, trying to help people have a good time first experience yeah, versus just no, no one goes to university and starts off in you know, senior level, 400 level classes. You, you work <laughs> your way up to that, right? That's, that's, that's one thing. That's a perfect I've, comparison. For the entry level, what we call the associate level, we aim, we aim at someone who has between six months and two years of experience. Yeah. So not the senior one, right. sophomore. Right. So, yeah, yeah. I think I've seen how the, the, the the set of courses now sort of interoperate, and so you know both the vertical stacking as well as now the scale out stacking, having being able to add Argo to your resume along with you know some security, uh, and you know tie this all together, maybe some Kubernetes at, at the base, you know. But you've got a roadmap, I guess, for how you're looking at the entire educational program. Yeah. Right? So, um, like Chris mentioned, for certification, we are and for training, we are always working on new stuff. Um, we are working, like you said, on hotel, so yep. we will have soon, one day, yep. uh, cannot say a, a precise date, but we, will, we are working on an open, open telemetry associate uh, certification, also on the backstage one, because this is something that has been really trendy for many organizations. How can I help my developer to actually work in a, <laughs> an efficient manner and to spread the documentation and Okay, so we will do that. Uh, we are working on that. And um, we're also working on Kaverno, which is related to security. So right. those are the topics that we are working on yeah. for certification. And I, we I also have just many trainings. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just was wondering, because it was such a big theme earlier today of sustainability. Yeah. And that one, that one, I mean, I, I actually 
related to what uh, Deutsche Bank talked about with how it was super complex for them to figure out the carbon footprint. Is that a place that you're looking to focus as well? We we have a we have a FinOps related kind of training. Like it depends, like you know, if yeah. you kind of like how to FinOps generally means like cost efficiency, but right. they're also adding carbon footprints because it makes sense. Some people may want to optimize purely on cost, others may want to optimize on carbon footprint. So it's definitely something we're considering. It's not in the like immediate plans, but as these technologies kind of evolve and grow, for sure we're going to add it to our portfolio and. The challenging thing here is, um, I, I think a lot of people don't realize, when we develop a certification, we have multiple companies involved, maintainers usually, it's, it's a bit of a dance, because you know, it's not just biasing one vendor, we truly bring in the community, and sometimes these vendors don't, uh, <laughs> you know, they, they compete in the, in the market, right? And they don't always you know, get along, so it's like sometimes these things take longer to develop than we uh, initially planned, and, and but with the end product, is really, really good. At well, speaking of that evolution and the time frame, tell us a little bit about the changes uh, going on in, in oh, the, yeah. some of the certifications. Um, so we just announced at the beginning of the year that um, we will be changing the validity period of our, all our certification. Um, right now, it's still the case, all our certifications are valid for three years. That will change on the 1st of April. We will move back to two years. Um, so obviously some people are complaining and we can hear that. But the reason we are doing that is that we are in such moving world. Every technology is moving so fast. I mean, who was talking about AI two years ago? Not a lot. Yeah. Open AI maybe, yeah. they, were, they, they were, but, yeah. <laughs> but not a lot. Right. And um, so we're moving back to two years, uh, for two years for the validity. And I will take you an example for Kubernetes. Three years ago, the default on Kubernetes was Docker, was still Docker. It was not the case two years ago. So we think it, makes a it made a lot of sense to just move back to two years. And actually, that was the first validity period we had. When CKA was launched, it was valid for two years only. And we thought, okay, maybe we can just extend that. Well, we're moving back to that because we realize it's it's moving too it's fast. It's still an evolving Yeah, landscape. it's still evolving so fast. You know, it was a good idea to say, okay, maybe now that Kubernetes is more mature, we can extend that to three years, but actually, it continued to grow and to move and to evolve, and which is obviously a APIs great thing. APIs change, yep, yep. And you mentioned that, and we are stressing out that the cloud native ecosystem is not only Kubernetes. So maybe Kubernetes is not evolving as much as Argo today, but since we try to be aligned for all our certification, everything back to two years, so that we are allowing us to keep the flow and keep the, the bit of all our projects. Yeah. And is, is part of your certifications helping the people who go through them and understand it to better understand? Because some, some of the things you brought up, you know, open telemetry, and there's a whole number in the observability space for Prometheus and, uh, what is it, the other one, Jaeger, and yeah. other things. Yeah. Is it how they fit together in some of these certifications, and that's why you're, you're the kind of, when you take a look and you step back, I look at it and go, okay, which one do I use for where? Mm -hmm. And I want the person, if they're coming through and getting certified, to know that. Is that part of the goals out of that? Uh, some of them like involve like maybe best practices with the projects. If you kind of take the CK, you know, A or CKD, definitely you're, you're, you are using different kind of you know projects, potentially outside of purely Kubernetes. So there's some of that discussion. But then it like, you know, if, if you're doing the CK A, it's like, well, which CNI should you use? Which one are you going to bias toward? It, it, and it's a challenge. And we've changed that over yep. over 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 the years. CNCF used to not have really any CNA CNI related projects out, the, out out of the spec, and now that we have things like Cilium and so on kind of makes sense that that becomes the default in, in, in the certification. Absolutely, uh, I had a meeting this morning about the refreshing about uh, all our uh, Kubernetes certification, so things will move in the next few, let's say, weeks to months, but uh, we, are, we are reflecting those changes and those evolution, uh, obviously. Like we are doing in our training, <coughs> our training are updated regularly, so, we need to do that. And there's a fun new title that one can strive yeah. for now, right? Yeah. What's, what's this? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, uh, it was kind of a, honestly, it came from kind of our uh, community, right? So, you know, I, I, I've, I've, I haven't built training certification programs before, right? So it was kind of a space a little bit new to me, and we started to have this very enthusiastic community, and it was like, hey, can you do something like, like the AWS Golden Jacket program? Like, 
what the, what is that, right? And then you know, kind of look it up, it's like, oh, it's like someone passes all, you know, the Amazon certs, they get this crazy fancy gold, gold I'm like, not a bad idea, so we kind of talked about it and like, can we do something similar? And we're like, okay, maybe if someone passes all the Kubernetes things, we'll do something special. special. And we came up eventually with Cubestronauts, which uh, is a new title, and they're, they're going to get a nice jacket, maybe fun. a space helmet. I was going to say, you got to have the helmet. helmet. I mean, so, yeah, you got to totally. go helmet. So if someone tells me where to procure a very, very nice space <laughs> helmet <laughs> out there in the audience, we'll please let me know. We'll, yeah. we'll put that out. That, that's a good yeah, challenge to yeah, put yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, would, that would be good. And, yeah, we're and we're basically, these folks are good. These are our official training and certification and education ambassadors, right? Yeah. And they're going to be treated like. And there are like, people who already have collected the entire, oh, they, they, yeah. yes, stamped yes. The, they blacked out their bingo card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, they, we want to recognize them. Yeah, of course. We want us to be able That's to recognize remarkable. them, but also anyone from the community to yeah. recognize and, them. So, it, yeah, and it is a, it's a community at the end. It's not just a transaction if someone takes a certification. These are folks that are up-leveling their career, and we, we actually want to treat them like ambassadors. We're going to hold monthly meetings, get feedback on how to improve Amazing. things, and it's just, uh, you know, we are an open source community at the end of the day. And oh. we really we want to reflect that into the certification and, yeah, in, into the certification because, you know, we will share our success but also our failure. Yeah. And people get together, you get some bonds because you fail the same way. Yeah. So that's why we yeah. want to reflect too and we will continue to work on that yeah. over yeah. the next yeah. months in here because this is really, we both come from the community. We also you share you, the same you, community. You too. So yeah, yeah, you, you we know, we share some lots of community too together. And absolutely, it's it's a fun, it's a fun, uh, yeah. it's a fun community to be a part of. I, who do you think is going to be our first Kubestronaut? We're going to interview on the on the show. <laughs> no, but we we have to have them space, on. Though. Yeah, we have the space well, helmet. Let's we'll get that yeah, space, space helmet. helmet. Yeah, we, but let's make it for uh, you know Salt Lake. Yeah, We're yeah, going to have somebody it. on yeah, yeah. Salt Lake. Yeah. That that would be awesome. Or two, one or two of them on. That awesome. would be. Fantastic. So, oh, yes. but hey, thanks for coming on board. I, I you know, again, it, it's always good, and I, I mean, this is I'm passionate about this because yeah. I think it's huge for getting that big tent and bringing people in and yeah. involving them. And you're at the pointy end of that spear, and I really appreciate you being com completely transparent about this. I, I, Thank you, and if you ever swing by and look at the job board, there's a lot of companies looking at hiring yeah. folks. So we got to train up. Uh, everyone here. Yep. Maybe they're going to have a requirement in there for a Kubster you know, <laughs> like, or something like <laughs> oh, that. Oh, that you, you, you've now going to create another. Uh, another. Uh, the first job post I see expecting to have someone a Kubster note. I want I, I, a nice I, bottle of wine. I oh think. yeah, <laughs> I, I want go. to see a picture of that, please. Yes, <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll figure that out too. But uh, yeah. so so thank you for coming yeah. on board. Thanks for having Thanks, us. Yes. Always Thanks a pleasure to us. chat and enjoy Paris and see you in Salt Lake. Absolutely, yeah. see you in Salt Lake and see you guys just in a minute when we come back here from KubeCon, Cloud Native Con, EU here in Paris live. Stay tuned to the Cube, the leader in tech news and analysis. Thanks. Mm -hmm.